This is Lambo Doc. I gotta talk about Lambo Doc too. So we've been tagging quite a lot of shit. And this is Miss Lambo Doc's post, right? Miss Lambo Law? No way. Oh, she's in going to law school. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh my god. Lambo Doc. I think it's about time I talked about him. So this is Lambo Doc right here, okay? So this dude goes to his house, right? Productions today is a super special day. I know I say that kind of often, and it kind of you know don't. Oh, you killed. So we we're just getting reactions, right? I wasn't there for that one, um, but I helped him out. I helped him. Uh, he wanted to get reactions, so I helped him. Uh, we met up before that. I gave him a, a, a lav mic. We didn't get it to work or anything like that, but we were working together on this kind of shit, right? And then there was, and there was this one. So he pulled up to Lambo Doc's house, and we pull up together. He pulls up in my car, actually. I'm the one giving him a ride. I pull up to his house, and then we go to Lambo Doc's house. Look at this dude's fucking... 4x4 four four and all that shit. And this is uh, Matt Kim's car. Matt Attack. And this is... I forgot the dude who it was, but they had a he had a podcast. No, Magic Mike ATL. Wait, why is he pointing it backward? That's me. That's my car. Why is he showing the car back there? I appreciate that. I respect that. All right, so this is one of the cars in the insane collection, the Brabus G-Wagon. Oh, it's What's a Brabus? Brabus 4x4, holy shit. Wait, what are your guys' thoughts? I mean, this thing is just standards. That's massive. My God, Matt, if you don't follow his channel yet, go follow him, Matt Attack. Uh, you. There we go. Spire. Mad Attack is one of the lamest dudes I've ever met in my life. So, you know, make a difference? Of course, man. The spiders are just faster, bro. Spider. And you're gonna race. But it's a spider. You have to race with your top down. I mean, you, you you're the final be verdict. You're forced to race any way that you can. Any reason he got a spider yeah. so that he can hear my exhaust while he's driving. <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below who's gonna win. Is it gonna be Mike? Is it gonna be Matt? Or me, my WRS. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Give Matt some sympathy, bro. Let's make That's me. What's gonna win? The Brabus. The tank. You'll just run them over at the same time. <laughs> Any advantage you can give everybody. Who's in the last video? I missed another one, guy. So they're rolling out. They want to race on the highway and shit, right? And the thing is, is like these are two-seater cars, so not every. It's an odd number of people, and I'm not like uh, I'm a tag along basically. So I gotta drive my own car if I even want to come through. And I can't like stay in this dude's house while it's like empty, right? I mean, I maybe I could have, but I don't know. Um, or on this dude's bro. So I, I take my car, I ride out, and I try to get some videos. I'm alone in my car, in my WRX, trying to get videos while driving, trying to keep up with McLarens and Lambos. Guys, I'm sorry. All right, we're the thing is, we did this because we came here because Lambo dot called him out. He's like, hey, I got my, I got a new wrap on my Lamborghini Huracan, and uh, it's this oh rainbow God. one. File a suit on him. Matt, we're coming for the Huracan. All right. So that like, it was actually so cool because I actually thought of a really cool idea of uh, a video to do with that Huracan, but it never ended up in, in uh, to coming to fruition because he wanted to, he, he hadn't made any pictures of it or anything. He hadn't shown the world. So I'm like, oh, you know, it would be a cool way to show people uh, that you've got this new wrap for your car. It's a, it's a holographic, it's a, a prism wrap, right? It's got, it goes by a lot of names. But it's that very rainbow uh, chameleon sort of like um, in the sun looks amazing type of wrap. Uh, it looks super flashy. I wouldn't say it looks amazing, but it looks super flashy. I'd say Matt's car is probably the best looking one there. But aside from my WRX and all, but that doesn't really count. You can't compare it to that. But my idea was, you know, in Mario Kart, how you can get the star and your car turns rainbow. So my idea was to do a little VFX because I was in SCAD at the time. I was in school. And these guys are in my film class. They do VFX. And I'm like, hey, let's make it so that he takes his old, like his other Lamborghini because he's got multiple Lamborghinis and all these guys got Lambos. Like, let's take one Lamborghini, drive it on this road, like get all these cars to be like racing, quote unquote. 
and then we composite the footage together where we put this like a VFX like block in there, like a Mario Kart block. He hits it, it's inside the car, and then he like it's it's uh he does like the he gets a star and like uses it on the car and the car turns into a rainbow car, transforms basically into a rainbow car. And that was like the transition I wanted to do to show it off on an Instagram video. I think it's an incredible idea. I think of good content ideas, bro. Like I truly am good at creative content idea writing. I'm good at it. I don't know why people don't use my skills for their own like usage. They could totally do it. I like to give ideas away. All right, so after, well, I mean, we're still One thing I can say for sure is Lambo Doc's neighbors definitely love him. Now, this is where they're, no. I tuned my 650 Take a look real quick. cats and shit, and it's still with right, there more. Oh, oh yeah. got caught. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Just where it's supposed to be. All right. First, the Huracan and the... Well, this is pretty so they're deciding like, okay, am I gonna go in the, am I gonna go in the Huracan or am I going to go in the um, 720s? And he's deciding because he gets to you know basically pick which one is he gonna go in. And um, the other two guys, Lambo Doc and uh, whoever else is there, is gonna go in the other car. And so Simba's picking, and I'm like, fuck, these are two two seater cars, and there's four people, and they're both in them in each. I can't fit in them, so I gotta take my own car. So I was literally keeping up with them well, like man, that. And this dude Sim got a ride in the Huracan, right? Turn down the air so you guys can hear me more. Important lesson, important lesson. On the ride to wherever we went, he rode in the Huracan. On the ride back, he's like, yeah, I just want to ride in your car instead, in my car. You know why? Because my car is more fun. It's a stick shift. It's obviously going to be more fun than an automatic. You can make your car like... 10 billion horsepower. It will never be as fun as something that you get to feel. You're getting an extra sense in there. But the, the speed of my car is already good enough, right? Uh, at the time, I don't have a Subaru anymore, but the speed of my car was like, let's say like a six out of 10, right? The speed of these Huracans are like eight out of 10, okay? In terms of like satisfying. But that's all they have. What about the sense of touch, the sense of feel, right? Let, let's let's take the sense of feel in place. Let's take speed and and mechanical feel of the car. Well, they don't even have mechanical feel, so that's a that's a spectrum that they don't get to be on. So the total the total fun factor of like let's say I'm oversimplifying it. The total fun factor of the acceleration and speed of the Huracan is an eight out of ten because it's fast. Well, the total fun factor of my car is a twelve out of ten because I have six out of 10 acceleration and I have six out of 10 mechanical feel because I'm driving a stick shift. Like you're getting more. And he literally told me that he's like, yeah, these cars just go so fast. It's boring. It's boring. Like every car goes fast now. Who cares if the car is fast? What about the car being fun? But I have no idea where to start. <laughs> There's Matt hanging off the side. Oh no, I think he was in the... No, I think Mike was driving this Huracan, different Huracan. Because this is a Huracan, and I believe this is a Performante, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at that wrap glisten. I thought he was pointing it at my car. And then they hopped on the highway. They hopped on the highway. And I was keeping up with them. Do you know what a diva means at all? No, but I do know that Allah is meat bat. That's like the bat. Oh, bat. bat. Okay. In Italian, Look at that. Allah. That makes sense. Let me see if I can Josh, go to. New car. If I can go to uh, Matt Kim's video actually. That's not the right mad attack. Matt Kim. Damn. I cannot find him. 
Maybe he left links in the description. Uh, I mean, I was gonna show you Mad Attack's video, but I don't really care, honestly. I'll just show you Lambo Doc. Okay, my Instagram is not... Oh, here's his video. Oh, it's still the same name. Why was it not showing up in search? The stunt lifestyle on Lambo Doc. Oh yeah, the Mad Tech came back to him again later. Like, this kind of content is boring. I don't know why rich people think just showing off the fact that they're rich is, like, cool. They don't show off any sort of character with it. They just go, ooh, look at how cool these cars are. This is Lambo Doc's page. Here we were. I even, I, I, was, I was straight up saying, like, hey, he wanted to do YouTube videos. This dude... He, oh my god. A year ago. Let me, let me go on Ma uh, Lambo Doc's Instagram. Because this dude wanted to make content. He, je he really wanted to do it. And I'm, I'm like, I was about to tell this dude, like, hey, straight up. You want to make content? Let me live in your house. I know you have so many empty rooms. Give me an empty room to live in. I'll stay here. I'll keep this as my HQ. I'll edit videos for you, I'll record videos for you, I'll take pictures for you, I'll edit those pictures, I'll give you hella stuff for your social media. When TikTok dropped, I would make TikToks for you, I would do all of that. Whoa. Does he still have his... holographic wrapped... Huracan? FaZe actually did a photo shoot for him, which I showed earlier let me pop this in uh i'm on my phone right now getting the account so i can put it in here that's like you can see like he was interested in making content at the time like he was like hey can you get i would have done it for him i would have done it for him for a place to stay i would have done it for him Yeah, this is his page. I remember he had me blocked. He had me blocked on my old account. Because, um... Hmm, TikTok. Wait. Oh. TikTok. Lambo Doc. So this is him. No way, is that a new? That's not the same girl. Shocker, I mean, be that rich, so. It's like this kind of lifestyle cannot be that interesting. Wait, a, oh, I guess he's got a few few girls, I guess. But there is this girl, Miss Lambo Doc. Oh my god, this is crazy because Miss Lambo Doc, she would literally, she's like my age. She's like in my grade level. She's a kid, bro. She was a kid. And this dude is like 35 or something like that. And look at her. And she was like going around driving uh, or, or flying to like Dubai and going to like Europe trips and all this stuff. She was doing all this crazy shit. And um, we used to like. Man, we used to make fun of them so much. Like, uh, oh, here's a here's a video from that thing. This was actually after that shoot. That's um. 
Musa, Mustafa, whatever, he writes articles and he was writing an article about uh, cookies. Yeah, the reason why he blocked me is because you look at shit like this. Miss Lambo Doc. Spending money is a chore to me. She was a, literally like a kid, bro. She's my age. Look at her. So look at what this dude, look at what this dude Lambo Doc is saying though. Listen to him. Control again? Jesus. You're out of control. Again. Miss Lambo Doc is a bitch. Good morning. She's like, oh, he's like, oh, you're so crazy. You're so crazy. He would make videos like that. He make, and the reason why they had to record this and send it to me is because he had me blocked. Because I would literally roast him in the comments. Like he got a kink from. We talked about this, bro. He literally got off on like her spending his money. He would always act like, like, it's so obvious, bro. It's so obvious. He literally got off on, like, she would go out and, like, spend, like, $10,000 on, like, some jewelry or whatever. And he'd be like, oh, you're so crazy. You're so crazy. It was so funny. So I'd always comment in the comments, like, oh, isn't she so crazy? She's so crazy, right? Out of control, bro. Out of control. Out of control. I'm loved. <laughs> oh, my God. So crazy. So crazy. He says it. He says it right there, bro. And that's um the guy who was recording this actually the guy who recorded this and who was making fun of him this whole time recording screenshotting it and then sending it to me was this dude <laughs> William Sitton and this is uh I him it's, I love being financially dominated <laughs> we used to fucking meme this dude and this girl dude she could have dated him for a year and and like got so much shit that she could have built a like a millionaire millionaire life and made like crazy investments with the money that she got um and and just like been on her way and left him but you know what i don't think they're together anymore because last i checked her at is uh anna fi or whatever not not miss lambadoc anymore